So what I have here is a white LED and I'm going to connect a red LED to it in parallel. And you see what happens is the white LED turns off. The reason why is because the red LED has a maximum voltage of 2.1 volts and the white LED has a maximum voltage of 3.6 volts. The power source is roughly around 2.1 volts because I connect this resistor to it which has a 1.5 volt drop. This is a 3.6 volt battery so this power source is approximately 2.1 volts now. And both LEDs draw in about 20 milliamps of current. Therefore the red LED has less resistance to it. As a result, the current would rather go through the red LED than through the white LED. Now, I want to make both of these lights light up. Therefore I must connect a resistor in series to the red LED. By doing so, this will increase the resistance to the red LED and both LEDs can light up. But as you can see, if I pull this red LED out, the white LED becomes brighter. If I put it back in, the white LED becomes less bright. The reason why is because the resistance to the red LED is still lower than the resistance to the white LED. Therefore, we're going to make the resistance to both of these LEDs equal. And to do that, we're going to use Ohm's Law. So here is the fact sheet I have of both LEDs. The white LED has a maximum voltage of 3.6 volts. The power source is 3.6 volts. And the current draw of the white LED is 20 milliamps. The red LED, on the other hand, has a maximum voltage of 2.1 volts. The source is 3.6 volts. And the current draws 20 milliamps. So the difference in voltage we have is 1.5 volts. The power source is 3.6 volts, and it's going to be the same for both LEDs. So we need to use Ohm's Law, which is V voltage equals I current times R resistance. The voltage we have is 1.5 volts, so this is the voltage we want to resist. The current is 0 0.02 amps. We need to convert 20 milliamps to amps for this equation to work. And we're going to multiply that by resistance. Now we need to solve for resistance. So resistance is going to equal 1.5 divided by 0 0.02, and that equals 75 ohms. Now the problem we have is all I have is are these 150 ohm resistors. So what I'm going to do is take two of these resistors together, connect them in parallel like this. And I'm going to use it like this. And when you connect a res resistor in parallel, the resistances add up like this. Well, actually, let's use R instead. And that will equal 1 over 1 over R plus 1 over R which will equal 1 over 2 over R. Now at this point, let's substitute 150 for the resistance. Because that's the value of the resistor we're using. And that's going to equal 1 times, two fit, one times 150 over 2, and that equals 75 ohms. Now that means the resistance of these two, uh, two resistors is equivalent to a 75 ohm resistor. And I have one connected right here. Now we've got to remove this resistor right here because we calculated this resistance with the power source that has a, that's, that's 3.6 volts. And with this resistor connected to its power source, this power source is equivalent to around 2.1 volts. I did the math earlier. So now I'm going to remove this resistor now. As you can see, the lights turn off when I remove the resistor. When I remove the resistor, because now I have an open circuit right here, and I'm going to put remove this LED and connect it to this resistor. So now, how the how the now this is a breadboard, and how it works is like this: this all the holes on the sides right here are connected, and then these holes that go sideways are connected together, and then you have another section here. These two sections are separate, They're, they do not connect to each other. As a result, I connect this LED right here in the same row as this resistor. And I connect this resistor in the same row as the power source right here. And a positive end of this battery to the, the power source right there. Now I'm going to connect this wire back to the power source to get an, a closed circuit. As you can now see, both LEDs light up, 
If I remove the red LED, the white LED does not become less bright. If I put it back in, the white LED does not become less bright or more bright. Now it does flicker a little bit because, well, the camera and the power source is a little buggy and the connections inside this breadboard aren't very good, so let me try to fix that. Okay, so it's not flashing and glitching up anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to connect this red LED back in, and you'll see the white LED does not become less bright. If I remove the red LED, the white LED does not become more bright. So current through both LEDs there is now equal, and as a result, both LEDs can light up without one becoming less bright or more bright now. The connection is not very good, which is why the white LED is flashing, so you just got to ignore that, unfortunately. And that's the end of this tutorial.